Well, we know for certain that at least one piece of history made today will end up in the Smithsonian, and that would be Michelle Obama's inaugural gown. But it's not the only fashion statement she made today. The dress she wore to the inaugural ceremony also scrutinized greatly. What message did she send? How is it received? We're going to get the scoop on all that from style expert Robert Verdi, joining us right now along with Mary Alice Stevenson, celebrity stylist and contributing editor at Harper's Bazaar. Um, so, Robert, let me start with you here. Yeah. A lot of buzz surrounding uh, what First Lady Michelle Obama would wear tonight. Yes. Now we've seen it. Yes. This one-shoulder white dress yes. by 26-year-old designer Jason Wu, right? Is, did I get Jason. it right? You did. Jason Wu, who's so what, Taiwanese, what? actually, and, and works Taiwanese, here in the U.S. He okay. was born in Taiwan and is an American fashion designer. And not unlike Isabel Toledo, who was born in Cuba and works in the American fashion system, Michelle is embracing um, the diversity that exists in the great fashion community here in so, New York City. And, and Toledo did her, her dress she wore earlier in the day. But Correct. tell us, what, what do you make of the choice of the inaugural gown as we watch this dance well, between I the mean, two of them? Well, I mean, I think that you could go uh, a number of places. It has a little bit of a prom quality, but I think what's there is this fairy tale quality that I think Michelle and Barack really represent very accurately at this moment in history. And I think the dress has been modified, though. My guess is that its original design, and this is not necessarily any information that I have as a matter of fact, but I'm going to say from an opinion, I think it was designed as a strapless dress and that she added that one shoulder to it to make it um, easier to wear so that there wouldn't be any slippage and that it would be something that she could make through the night. That's just a guess from looking at the way the dress is actually constructed. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Mary Alice, shed oh, some light on that for Robert. me. Yeah, Mary Alice, what do you think? We definitely wouldn't want any slippage. Robert, we definitely wouldn't want any slippage. I talked to Jason tonight, and actually this dress was designed specifically for Michelle as you see it tonight. Jason found out, like the rest of us, what she was wearing on TV, was crying, screams of delight. This is a young designer who's been in the fashion business for three years years. He is 26 years old and she put him on the map today. I think it was a fantastic choice in a time where uh, stars are paid to wear dresses on the red carpet. Don't choose in a way that is new or fresh. Kudos to Michelle Obama for really focusing on youth and fashion. I agree with that. I think that he, she's, she's made some great choices. Yeah, well, we'll talk talk a little bit about the contrast though between uh, she and Laura Bush, for example, or Hillary Clinton, Laura or Bush other former first ladies. What does she bring in, t in terms of her overall uh, image, the style she's going to project? How different will it be? I think that what she's done is actually shined a light on young designers that otherwise go relatively unknown and she changes the course of fashion history because these designers end up in the canon of fashion and 30 or 40 years from now a new generation of young designers will use this moment as inspiration the optimism and it will be reflected in Michelle's wardrobe I think it's interesting that she's followed course she's followed the course of many first ladies wearing white on this very special night Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis wore Oleg Cassini in 1961 that was white James Galanos on Nancy Reagan in 1981, Oscar de la Renta on Laura Bush in 2005, all wore white dresses. And even as far back as Mary Todd Lincoln in 1861, she also wore white to the inauguration of President Abraham Lincoln. I also feel that Michelle, Mary? Michelle dresses uh, like us. She's 45 years old. She dresses in a feminine, glamorous way that is very realistic. She understands how to mix up um, designers high and low. And it's been a long time since someone has been sexy in the White House and youthful and vibrant with their fashion choices in the White House. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of buttoned up first ladies. And this is a, <laughs> this is a great moment for American fashion. There is a contemporary right. feeling that she has that no other first lady yeah. has brought since Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Uh all right, uh, Robert Verdi and Mary Alice Stevenson, thanks to you both. Appreciate it. Thank you, Campbell. Um, Anderson, uh, your views on the dress, would you like to share? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really don't have an opinion on it. I think they are just a, a very cool <laughs> couple, though. I mean, you see, it was interesting to see them at the youth ball, uh, Barack Obama speaking a language to that audience, which, you know, I, I think he said to the band, kick it at one point, or hit it. Uh, I don't think we've heard a president tell a band to hit it uh, in a very, very long time. Uh, really just remarkable <laughs> to see them uh, and how relaxed he is in front of that young crowd. A lot more balls ahead. Plenty of celebrating ahead coming up. We're going to take you live to a ball that's being billed as the hot late night bash on the inauguration circuit. Courtney Cox, David Arquette hosting uh, Rihanna. Cheryl Crow are performing. Like we said, a hot take and a lot ahead. Stay tuned.
This is a car commercial, but it's not a...